Soul Hail Megatron! <laughs> yeah, that was my interpretation of uh, Frank Welker, who was the original Megatron voice artist. Dude, okay. Yeah, I kind of need to work on that a bit. Hey guys, I'm Rich, and no, I don't mean money rich. I mean, like, my name is Rich. Seriously? But anyway. Hey guys, I'm Rich. Welcome to another Transformers action figure review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Generations War for Cybertron Megatron. And you're like, whoa, Rich, if that's your real name. Whoa, I've never seen Megatron look this cool. Well, that's because you live under a rock and never played the incredible game Transformers War for Cybertron, which was out on uh, video game consoles. Like, duh, really? Come on, really? You didn't see this guy? He's awesome. All right? They finally made him into an action figure, and I've got to say, it is probably my favorite Megatron that I've ever had. And I know that's easy to say, because you're like, really? Really? It's your favorite? You probably say that every time you touch a uh, figure, and you just get all goose bumpy. No, actually, uh, I'll usually get a figure, and I'll be like, eh, that's a good figure. Oh, oh, that's a really good one, but it's not my favorite. This, by far, is my favorite Megatron ever. Uh, and they've made quite a few Megatrons. Now, I would have liked him if he wasn't Deluxe, if he was Voyager class. But, you know, anyway, he's a great figure. Awesome. Uh, stands very well on his own. I like that he stands for once. You know, toys stand. What is this novel concept you speak? Uh, but I wanted to do the review starting with... That was weird. Starting with how he is in the packaging. And he comes out of the packaging already in robot mode and not in his tank or hover mode. So I wanted to do the review that way and then work my way backwards uh, into vehicle mode. Okay, so this is how you get the guy out of the box, Megatron. Awesome figure. The articulation is awesome. Now, I don't really care for this red on him um, because I'm looking at the poster that I got and uh, it's purple. But he's red. But he's not... Red, he's purple. No, okay. So, the red, if I remember correctly from the video game, um, he has some red on him, but I think this is too much. Too much red. But anyway, not a big deal. I really like this figure. Um, paint jobs aside, it is an incredible Megatron. Uh, articulation, go from the head down. Uh, the head can go up and down because of the way that uh, he transforms. So, I, when he looks down at you, like, Hello, mortal. You know, it's not... It's not, actually, it'd probably be more like, hello, flesh bag. And probably not even going to say hello, and that was a terrible, my voice wasn't working. Uh, it's, it can rotate 360 degrees, though. It can rotate all the way around. Whee! Um, his shoulders have great articulation. He can reach, I mean, it, uh, his arms can twist around 360 degrees. Uh, he can't reach out that far, except if you have the arm in the right position, you can actually extend the arm out. So you can get a wider range. Uh, the elbow here kind of can go up and down he can bring his arm up that far uh, close to him which I think is great um, he can't really cross his arms across his chest but you know no big deal uh, the forearm can rotate 360 but with the cannon it's kind of difficult uh, the hand has no articulation though whatsoever um, there is no waist articulation the hip can uh, go the leg can go in and out can go forward, very far forward, like full kick, and then all the way back. Uh, nothing is stopping him from being in a lot of different really cool poses. His knee, uh, since the transformation is, you know, his leg closes up, he gets a lot of range of knee uh, articulation, a range of the knee movement. The foot can also um, go up and down, forward and backward. And then you kind of have this extra little side flap here, which helps. So, like, if you have him posed a certain way, you kind of can use the flap for added stability. So I like that. Um, now, something awesome. And I, I get all giddy whenever you get a figure. I know somebody's going to be like, oh, this is freaking gay, you know, uh, whatever they want to say. I don't care because I love uh, this figure in that um, you can actually get him to kneel. Now, you don't necessarily need him to kneel like he's kneeling to somebody else, but you can get him to where he's actually kneeling to fire his cannon. And that, I, I, I cannot stress enough how much I really wish more action figures that were made actually had that ability built in. That they, were, they had that range of motion that they could do that. And, and that alone makes him an awesome figure. I and mean, that, that right there shows 
how much articulation is in the knees and what type of poses you can get him in. You can get him in some awesome poses for uh, dioramas or displays or even stop motions. Now that's pretty much all there is. Oh, uh, the cannon. Uh, it does come with a missile projectile. You just push right here the button and shoots out the laser. Uh, plasma cannon. Uh, anyway, um, the gun is removable which when you transform you'll have to remove it anyway but it is removable you can put it on both arms if you want or on either arm you can decide uh, which one you want to put it on I keep it on the right obviously because he uses it on the right arm in everything pretty much uh, and then here on the back if you wanted you can store the cannon with the uh, the second slot right here this one so you can store the cannon on his back uh, if you wanted you know if you want. Fine, we'll do it this way then, you stupid thing. There we go. So you could store it on his back, except the cannon is kind of aimed. So if he trips, he's like, oh, burn, and then it kills the cameraman. Like, oh no, you killed the cameraman. He's like, oh, whatever. You know, because that's the way he is. He just blows it off. He's like, whatever. You know, whatever. You're dead. All right, so we'll go ahead and take this off. Now we're going to go ahead and transform him into hover mode. Now what you're going to do first, just to get it out of the way, go ahead and take the chest and uh, pull up, and then pull it down to his crotch. Yeah, his chest goes to his crotch. No, stop laughing! Take his head, folds into his chest, like so. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open up the hands here, at the uh, just below the wrist, it'll just pop open. Uh, fold both of uh, the halves of the hands in for both arms. Go ahead and fold those in. Now you're going to bring the tread up so it's touching the bicep and then you're going to pull it out like so. So I'm going to do that for the other side as well. Pull it out. All right. Um, I think that's pretty much that's finished. All right now for his feet go ahead and just fold those up like that. Those are done for right now. Uh, now right here at his uh, shoulders you're going to kind of pull them up until they kind of connect on Come on. This this was a little difficult to do when I first transformed him to vehicle mode. Um, like, it works on the, the left side, but not so much the right. Come on. You're just trying to pull it up and then bring the shoulder, pretty much connecting the shoulder to the chest by pulling it up. And, there we go. Pushing it in. Um, you're going to pull the treads in towards the body, like so. All right. Now, up here, this weird shape thing pull it up then we're going to rotate it is that where it's yes rotate basically you're twisting it all the way around um, so that it looks like this okay then um, going to leave this kind of just dangling here in the air you're going to take the one of the legs I'm going to start with the right leg and you're just going to fold it into itself and there's a hole right here and there's a peg and you're just going to plug that in there same for the other side, just kind of fold the leg up on itself, plug it into the peg. All right, you're going to take this right here and you're going to first, there we go, just kind of just pull it down. All right, now for the cannon, take the cannon. Now if you did it right, it just fits right on and you can just seal the uh, little flaps there. All right, and there he is in hover mode, just like that. Now if you want him in tank mode, because actually in the game, uh, you could switch between tank mode and hover mode, I believe, and everything. Uh, you just fold out the treads, just fold them out, and that is tank mode, just like that. That easy. All right, so here is the tank and slash hover mode look. Uh, it is very accurate to the game. I think uh, I think the cannon was a bit. I don't know. It seems a little off. Like the cannon was a bit longer, but I, I'm not going to complain. This is a a incredible figure, uh, great figure. But yeah, that's pretty much as hard as it is to transform. It's not very difficult. Uh, once you've done it one time, you should know what you're doing. I had to look at the instructions for the legs because I was having difficulty fixing the legs and everything, getting the last couple of parts together. But um, other than that, it, it was a pretty uh, simple uh, transformation. So if you're somebody who likes it complicated, you may want to pass this up. But if it's somebody, I mean, it's Megatron, really. I mean, it's Megatron, how he looked on Cybertron. It's great. Uh, I will give this figure a 5 out of 5. I have not really found anything wrong with this guy at all, except that his arms can't cross uh, across his chest. That's the only thing I could think to be picky about. Everything else is awesome with this guy. Get him. It, he probably will be difficult to find because he's deluxe, so he's not very expensive. 
But if you can find him, I recommend you pick him up. He's going to be awesome for your collection. It's the best Megatron I own, and I own several different Megatrons uh, because I kept looking for a really good one. So this guy, uh, I wouldn't have to buy anymore after this. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching, commenting, subscribing. Be awesome because you guys are awesome. You guys are so awesome. Uh, if you have any comments or questions about this figure, you know how to post that down below. If not, what are you doing here? Go make an account. Subscribe. I mean, what you? yeah, go do that. Go do that. I will wait for you. Go ahead. Go do that. Okay, now that they left, I'm not going to wait. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this. I'm going to go ahead and get going. And um, I can't think of a, a neat intro, outro thing. So um, I'm probably just going to go um, uh, eat some cookies. So see you guys. If we had any cookies, I'd eat them. <laughs> Stupid diet.